Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here, and welcome to the speed test comparison between the ZTE Blade Z Max to my left and the ZTE Z Max Pro to my right. Two excellent devices being offered on Metro PCS right now. Now, before I jump into the speed test, I want to go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison just showing you the build quality. Now, to the right-hand side of both devices, you are going to notice the exact placement of the volume rockers as well as the power button. Now, when it comes to the Z Max Pro, you do have gold accents to the volume rockers and power button. Now, to the bottom, you do got Type-C charging on both devices, microphones, and the headphone jack on the bottom of the Blade Z Max. And to the left-hand side, you'll notice you do have your tray there for your SIM card and micro SD card on both devices up on top you do got your noise cancellation mic and the headphone jack is on top of the zte z max pro now with the blade z max here you are getting a dual camera setup here a 16 megapixel plus a 2 megapixel rear camera to the z max pro you are getting a 13 megapixel autofocus camera to the back both of these have the led flash you got fingerprint sensors on both devices and these both have backfiring speakers you get a difference in materials here you get a matte finish the z max pro and the blade z max you get this great grippy honeycomb texture to the front of both devices here. Two things will be different. The earpiece cutouts are a little different. 8 megapixel camera, the Blade Z Max, 5 in the Z Max Pro. Capacitive buttons to the bottom there. Both of these have a 6 inch full HD display. Let's go ahead and power both of these devices on and see which one will actually boot up first here. And it looks like it's going to be the ZTE Blade Z Max does boot up first. We're going to put in the pattern there and we are in the home screen. Following is the ZTE Z Max Pro. So what I want to do next is go ahead and check out the fingerprint sensors here. And we're going to see which device unlocks the fastest. Right there, I'm going to give that to the Blade Z Max. Let's try that one more time. Blade Z Max again unlocking faster. Let's do that once again. And yeah, it's definitely the Blade Z Max does have the faster fingerprint sensor, in my opinion. All right, so we are in the home screen here. Let me pull down the status bar. We're going to jump into settings, and I want to show you what version of Android both of these devices are running here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down. As you can see on the Blade Z Max, it is on Android 7.1.1. And on the ZTE Z Max Pro, it is on Marshmallow 6.0.1. So, you know, there might be a slight difference there due to performance because of the Nougat running on the ZTE Blade Z Max. But nevertheless, we're going to do this speed test and just see how well the Z Max Pro running on Marshmallow compares with the Blade Z Max running Nougat. Recent apps have been cleared out. Let's open up System Apps Calculator. That was basically the same time they both opened up Dolby Audio. And looks like it's pretty much the same time they both opened up there. Let's go ahead and open up CPU Z. And that is pretty much the exact same time again. All right, with the Z Max Pro, it is running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 617. We got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 435 on the Blade Z Max, Adreno 505, and the Adreno 405 on the ZTE Z Max Pro. Both of these have two gigabytes of RAM. As you can see there, they both have 1080 by 1920 displays. All right, so let's go ahead and move on, and we'll open up Clock. And that was the Blade Z Max. Did open up faster there. And let's go ahead and open up Google Plus. And that is the Blade Z Max as well. Opening up Google Plus, Play Store. Camera, same exact time. They both open up the camera at the same time. Let's go ahead and open up the Google folder here and open up YouTube. And we have, wow, that was pretty close. I want to say they both pretty much opened at the same time. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get a video playing here. And there we go. We got them both playing. Um, let's go ahead and exit out of YouTube now. Back to the home screen. Next thing we're going to open up is MLB at bat. See which device gives us our scores the fastest. And it's going to be, let's see here, which device. Oh, and it is the Z Max Pro does open up MLB faster there. Open up Best Buy, here we go. And it will be, wow, very, very close. I can't even tell, I wanna say maybe it was the Blade Z Max, but that was very close. Twitter, 
and it is the ZTE Z Max Pro does open up Twitter faster there. Let's go ahead and um, open up this Zedge application here. And it is the ZTE Blade Z Max does open up Zedge faster there. It's ready to go. And uh, so let's go ahead and go back to the home screen now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna be testing out is which device opens up a game the fastest. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Geometry Dash here. So here we go. And it's going to be, it looks like it's gonna be the Blade Z Max there. I wanna say that did open up slightly faster. Let's get a gameplay going here. Again, it's kinda of hard to tell sometimes because I'm behind the camera recording this and pressing uh, both applications at the same time. But uh, I wanna say that was the Blade Z Max there. Next application, Subway Surfers. And we'll see which device is going to uh, load this game the fastest and get us into the gameplay. So these are both looking pretty close here. Hard to say which one's going to open up uh, the fastest when it comes to Subway Surfers. Uh, very, very close, but it is the ZTE Blade Z Max. Let's get both of these running here a little bit. Gonna exit out. And the final game we're gonna open up is Need for Speed. Here we go. Press them both at the same time and see which one is going to uh, get this going faster here. And it looks like it's the ZTE Z Max Pro does open up Need for Speed. No limits faster there. Let's go ahead and exit out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is some Google searches here. So here we go. Metro PCS. And that did load up faster on the ZTE Z Max Pro. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. Go in the Metro PCS website and see which one's gonna take us there the fastest. And it looks like it's gonna be the ZTE Z Max Pro does take us into the Metro PCS uh, website the fastest there. So go ahead and exit out of there. Do another Google search. Z Community. And again, Z Max Pro a little bit faster there. Let's go ahead and click on the uh, Community there. And it looks like the Z Max Pro did get us there faster and load up the Z Community page uh, faster than the uh, Blade Z Max. Exit out of there. Let's do one last one, uh, one last Google search. So here we go. CES Las Vegas. And wow, that was pretty close. I want to say the Blade Z Max did open up faster there. Let's see which one takes us to the website. And it is the Blade Z Max. Um, has already loaded up the CES Las Vegas website there, and there is the ZTE Z Max Pro. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and exit out of there. Next thing we're gonna do here is go through some of the RAM management here. We're gonna go through some of these recent applications, kill calculator, same time. Let's go ahead and go back, and let's go ahead and open up Dolby Audio at the same time. And wow. Pretty much identical when it comes to open up Dolby Audio. Open up CPU Z. A little bit faster there on the ZTE Z Max Pro. Open up Clock. Faster on the Blade Z Max. Let's go ahead and open up Google Plus. Faster on the Blade Z Max. Again, you guys can follow me on Google Plus if you'd like. And to open up the Play Store. And that was faster on the uh, ZTE Z Max Pro there. And let's see what else we got here. Let's go ahead and open up, um, see which one will give us our scores the fastest. And that is the Z Max Pro. And then there's the Blade Z Max. So Z Max Pro did open up faster there. Let's see what else we got here. Whoops. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, let's open up YouTube. And it looks like the Blade Z Max did go straight into where we left off the video. Um, so we're gonna give that to the Blade Z Max. And let's see what else we got here. I think let's go ahead and open up a game or so, see how that does. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Need for Speed. Here we go. And it looks to be, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to say which one opened up there. Um, looks like there's a little bit of problem here. So we'll just exit out of there and uh, let's see what else we got to open up here. Let's go ahead and open up uh, Geometry Dash, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead and open up Geometry Dash, see which one takes us into the game the fastest. And it looks like they both are reloading the game there. And the Blade Z Max did open up there faster. And let's go ahead and do one more game. Uh, Subway Surfers, let's go ahead and open that up. 
and definitely hard to say which one is going to load this up the fastest. It looks like they're kind of going back and forth right now um, between applications. One device is opening up an app faster than the other, then the other one opens up a little bit faster. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be the Blade Z Max, in my opinion. Definitely does open up uh, Subway Surfers faster there. And for the next portion of this video, we're going to go ahead and jump into Geekbench 4 here. I'm going to go ahead and run this test. I'll just kind of show you some of the specifications on both devices here real quick. As you can see, Adreno 505, Adreno 405, um, the pixel count between both devices. So these are the results I did get. So it looks like the uh, Blade Z Max comes in at 680 single core score and 715 on the Z Max Pro. And then the Blade Z Max does score higher in the multi-core score with 2,623. Pretty interesting there. Let's go ahead and run the Antutu benchmark test and then we'll talk about the numbers that we get. All right, guys, so this test is pretty much done here. We have the scores. So let's start with the ZTE Blade Z Max. It does come with a score of 46,514. And the ZTE Z Max Pro does come in with a score of 45,971. All right, so we did the speed test. We did the benchmark test. Well, there you go, guys. That was the speed test between the ZTE Blade Z Max and the ZTE Z Max Pro. I think they're both great devices. They both are going to perform very good for you. With the Blade Z Max, it is a newer device, so it does have a large larger 4080 milliamp hour battery it is running nougat you also get that nice dual camera setup with a lot of great features but you still got to give it to the zte z max pro because it can still compete for being a year old running marshmallow with the newer zte device well if you guys enjoyed the video please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos this is paul tech and i will talk to you on the next one